Well, hey, come on in. Have a seat. You're just in time for another episode of Ask an Alchemist. All right, so I've had a lot of questions, and I'm going to keep answering them as fast as I can. Um, a little note, uh, whenever you uh, send your questions in, um, if you would like me to mention you or specifically like quote your question exactly, um, because some have gotten kind of personal, um, please uh, put down at the bottom like you give me permission to do that. A lot of times I will um, not repost those because some of the, the comments that fall in you know the sections like on WordPress, they seem kind of personal um, and like more like an email to me as opposed to just a comment to the section. So in respect to that, um, I've, I've honored that by not necessarily including your personal information um, uh, to the internet, you know. So the reason I'm mentioning this is because today's Ask an Alchemist question deals with um, numerology and astrology and uh, a, a sense of that having something to do with your destiny. And so we're going to cover that. Here's the question. Let's take a look at it, shall we? So a lot of us have a connection with our birthday. Now, I'll, this, is, this goes beyond just um, the fact that we celebrate it, you know, uh, in, in the West. It, it, birthdays weren't always celebrated, you know, not every culture honors a birthday. Um, we, we see it as, you know, an important period in a, a youth and adolescence, and then as you get older, they become a little bit less important. And until you get very old, and then every birthday becomes increasingly more interesting and important. But um, this calls really something greater into question. Uh, which I've often uh, contemplated myself, and that is this. If you use astrology or numerology or any kind of predictive device or, or tool which you are using to prognosticate something, you are by de facto um, recognizing or stating that there is no free will. And, and that um, you are bound and determined to carry out this course because it is dictated so electromagnetically the universe is functioning against you and therefore you will have uh, whatever happened to you, right? And, and this can be said of every single art, uh, including the tarot, um, you know, palmistry, anything where someone says this is the fixed state as it will progress into the future, right? Um, and, and of course astrology, more than anything else, people identify with that because we feel some kind of kinship with our zodiac sign. And, and detractors of astrology have, have pointed out more than adequately that, that um, these uh, psychological attributions to various zodiac characteristics um, are very generalized often. And, and because they seem so nonspecific, everyone is like, well, yeah, I'm a go-getter, or I'm this or that, or we feel a resonance with that. Now, my experience with astrology is a bit more extensive, which is what's caused me to, to call this in, into question for myself. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide for you the solution that I've come to, um, which is consistent, actually, with the expression of our current conscious state within the universe relative to uh, uh, more ancient Kabbalistic precepts. So specifically, um, the, the narrative would be this, that, that we in a previous state were born in a condition, uh, which I, I would typify as proto-Saturnian, so this could be the planet Kronos, uh, or the star Kronos rather, um, it's a brown dwarf, I mention this frequently, I'm going to eventually just like lay it all out for you guys, um, but uh, you have to give me time, this is some complex stuff. But in brief, that this state created with it fixed states for everything that was around it. So, um, uh, and, and this idea then was characterized as, as, as beings emerged around that star 
their philosophies, their ideas, and their practices were consistent with this idea that you would incarnate into a specific thing. And that thing then became the thing you were forever, right? Because you would just continually reincarnate into that, or perhaps just never die. Who knows what kind of circumstance le was led in the Golden Age. But it's, it's leftovers, the leftovers of that age, are like the caste system that, that's present in India and other cultures, where a person is born into a status or level within society, and that is all that they could attain to, and, and nothing more. And of course, this is, this is by degrees eroding as, as Western ideals of independence and determinism are kind of fracturing that older concept of a caste system where there was a merchant caste and a priest caste and a warrior caste and a peasant caste, you know, a farmer caste. These, these ideas, you know, were, were ingrained over thousands and thousands of years within that culture and I believe that it's a, a, a vestige of a previous state remembered and then enforced so that we would continue in that state. And in fact, every religion, every uh, practice which it calls you to adhere to a specific behavior, a, a kosher law or, or a word of wisdom, um, and, and that your behavior is conducted because of these reasons, and then they supply you a number of reasons, um, <clears throat> this is all to, to show that regardless of our current state, which is much more chaotic, we used to be far more ordered. Now, why am I saying all this? Because it doesn't seem like it's applying to your question, I'm sure. Because when you read from an astrological perspective, um, you have to recognize that our current context is one in which those rules may be broken or bent, or, or not even apply. Um, and, and so this is, this is the analogy that I would like to give you. That we are still, by virtue of our genetics, and by virtue of the timing wherein we start on our own in this planet, and, and our heart is regulated independent of the mothership, right? The umbilical is cut, we are now a baby, separate, and breathing and functioning independently, um, uh, that being born at that moment in time is, is gifted or cursed with, with certain propensities, certain things that they'll probably be prone to doing. And this is by virtue of the fact that they manifest and are expressed within the electric universe at that moment where everything lines up and the positionality of these things do influence the subtle bodies and characteristics of the being that now is sitting there, newborn, okay? To me it's like a, being a violin creator and I have created a Stradivarius violin, I am that person. Um, the violin itself is merely the host, it is only the vessel of the music. The violin is not the music. And so a, a person that is, that is cast into a vessel which is not a Stradivarius, but is still a violin, when ensouled within the hands of a master player, a master violinist, the true expression of uh, the essence of that violin is manifest. In the same sense, when we are born here, with whatever conditions or circumstance that, that we are born into, we are not fixed anymore into that state. We can choose. And, and what's amazing is that this idea has become so pervasive that gender identities um, are up for grabs so by virtue of, of, and it doesn't require reassignment, it simply requires um, a, the, the person just decides, today I will express this way and tomorrow perhaps something different. And this is the world we live in, which is antithetical to the world that says you must be certain ways and certain hows and this is the only way. 
that was the system wherein we were created. But the new system says that whatever works, works. And, and do as thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. So you may be born, let's say, um, uh, you may be born uh, under the constellation of Aries. Okay? This does not, this may engender you with certain traits which make you a great starter and, and someone who is, is incredibly loyal and headstrong um, and perhaps a bit hot tempered at the front end. Uh, perhaps a little touchy with the ego. You know, you never know. It, it may give you that to start, but this doesn't mean that's you. This just means that you're the vessel wherein your consciousness is contained is geared towards that, and it can be changed. You know, it, 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 you can be whatever you wish. And so, when looking at um, the idea of your birth date falling within certain numbers, the key, then, would be for you to explore every possible symbolic, relevant association with those numbers over time. That will give you a truer, bigger picture. Because considering the first principle of alchemy is that all things are mind, it is all mentalism, then that means that all things will be speaking to you consciously at all times to kind of help you and I am convinced that the universe uh, wants nothing more than for us to succeed. The, the, the reason why we fail is because we simply choose to apply our strengths in the wrong directions, with the wrong effort. We, we fail to learn the lesson as seen from a simple stream going, going down a hill, that when you reach the large rocks, you don't try to work your way through them, you go around. And, and these are the kind of things that you should look for, then. These sort of symbolic resonances within your own life, associated with your own zodiac sign, and the ascending sign, which is often very, very important, because it, it nuances things so much. And, and to look <clears throat> at yourself as more than mere numbers, but recognize that the numbers qualify and quantify names, and names provide for you cognitive associations, and those associations can tie your mind and your memory forward and backward within the framework of what we view as time, so that you might be able to remember yourself um, as you were and as you may yet be in the present by understanding all of those things and how they pertain to you throughout the course of your life. Alright? So I hope that help answers your question. And I, I hope that reveals for you that, that we have here and now a, a unique opportunity um, that is presented to us over the course of infinity. Alright, that's the end of that question. I'll be getting back with you shortly with more Ask an Alchemist and Alchemy Journal. Um, and I'll be talking to you soon.